हेलो एवरीवन यू आर ऑल वेलकम टू लेक्चर नंबर 1117 एंड टुडेस लेक्चर इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग अबाउट द लैंडिंग ऑफ द दैट इज चंद्रयान थ्री बाय इंडियन साइंटिस्ट एंड आई एम प्राउड टू मेंशन बीइंग इंडियन चंद्रयान थ्री uh was launched from the space station in india that was on 14 july at 2:35 pm indian time and actually chandrayaan the word i want to make it clear the word chandra chandra means means moon and what yan means uh, that is your craft so any craft which is going to land on moon that's why the indian name is given that is called chandrayaan chandra means moon yan means craft space craft that is the name and why three is given the reason is that it is third mission first mission was uh, that is moon mission was run by indian that was in october 2008 and it was failure failure in the sense that main thing for any space mission is landing on moon whether it is hot landing or soft landing i mean the hard landing and hard landing and soft landing these are the two terms very important to understand because hard landing means once your uh, rover the one which is going to touch the surface of the moon if the velocity or frequency or speed whatever you call is very fast which is not controlled from the earth where the scientists are sitting and they are controlling is all frequency wavelength calculation and temperature calculation also all these things is a very complex thing is not so easy being chemist i will just give you the uh, all the detail for everybody to understand i will not go deep inside so in that case what happened in 2008 that it reached there but it was crashed the speed was not under control and with high speed it uh, crashed with the moon surface and the whole uh, rover was damaged and they lost the uh, signal and then the second mission by isro that is indian space and the resource organization that is called isro they are doing all the space research satellite and uh, all the rocket everything and when they tried in 2019 september this rover reached to moon surface that is moon surface and it was only rover just like this type of machine with all its uh, wheel only just 2.5 km away from the surface of the earth where to uh, gently reach it crashed and again it was a failure because it is called hard landing we are every scientist whether it is american chinese indian japanese who are involved in space technology and research their main mission is soft landing because once it is reaching and this your uh, rocket space craft it is having thousands of kilometer per second so once it is uh, going around the earth slowly in a ec uh, ecliptical orbit then it will be entering into lunar orbit and that also 
transition from uh, leaving the earth gravitational force and entering into a uh, lunar gravitational force that is called highway of any uh, spacecraft and once it enters some it is uh, roughly 200 kilometer away from moon that is roughly 200 kilometer and here they have to control the speed and once it is coming here it should be so i mean in uh, uh, we can say speed low that gently it can land on this this rover and then they can start their research mission so this time the very interesting question people are asking because this uh, is launched on uh, that is uh, this craft that is on 14 of July 2023 at 2.30 pm and it will be reaching on 23rd of August 23rd of August Twenty third of August means it is taking forty five days. It is taking forty five days. If everything goes normal, the rover is going to land on the surface of the moon. But the NASA, the American NASA, which launched its uh, aircraft, that was in nineteen sixties. And at that time, that was Apollo 11, if you remember, it was Apollo 11. So this Apollo 11 became very, very famous. Even today, there are a lot of hospitals in the world, everywhere. This thing Apollo, that thing Apollo, because that was the first rover or machine, mechanical device with spectral studies, instruments, was learned, was landed. It was soft landing, and that was uh, in 1960, and it took only four days. So everybody is asking only one question. Now it is almost 50, 60 years. After such a 50, 60 years, Indians, they are still following very very slow technology and they are taking 45 days where American NASA took four days in 1960s to reach moon surface what is there why is it so the question is the big question but there is scientific reason many people they don't understand the scientific reason the scientific reason is there Americans to launch this uh, Apollo 11 they had to spend how much 25, 25 billion US dollar expenses India cannot afford. India is nuclear power, technologically superior, artificial intelligence top in the world, but at the same time poor country. This is a very frankly I am telling and very clear picture I am giving. India cannot afford 25 billion US dollar for such type of mission and where there is 50-50 chance of success and failure of soft landing on the moon. That's why India is following such type of route. The route is longer but it is very cheaper. Now today for example, what I know, today is 20th of July. Today India's this spacecraft is in fourth layer. Here it is Earth. I am giving you some very clear scientific picture. So layer orbit one, orbit two, one, two, three, four. Today the Indian spacecraft is in fourth orbit around the Earth, and here it is Moon. Just assume here it is moon and from here again it is going to make uh, the fifth maybe tomorrow <coughs> it will reach to uh, fifth orbit and after fifth orbit 
it will go to high way of moon leaving the orbiting area of earth to the lunar orbit of moon so it will be reaching to lunar orbit and then slowly it will follow the same type of path like this and then it will learn that for example moon is here and then it will go here and it will follow in the same way like this and then it will land and from earth to this place moon reaching the rover landing time it is 45 days we are expecting if everything goes normal that on 23rd of august our rover rover means that is small 26 kg uh, mechanical device rover release that is our rover and rover is 26 kilogram of weight the total weight of our satellite is 3900 kilogram but slowly all different stages will be uh, disconnected and final very sophisticated machine will go with uh, it will be attached to lander and then lander will leave it will move and the rover will be on the surface of the uh, moon and this rover is attached with lot of spectral instrumentation a lot of uh, radio uh, frequencies and waves spectroscopy just to do the analysis chemical analysis of lot of mineral what type of uh, ions are there or what type of uh, metallic ions are there like I mean nickel, cobalt, okay, what I mean 119 elements what we have on our earth out of that what type of those things are there with the help of spectrophotometer, spectral analysis and mass spectroscopy all instruments are days along with very powerful uh, camera and uh, navigation camera that it will take all the photograph with very high precision provided we are successful that it is having soft landing now let us come to this that why we are taking 45 days you know what is the cost of our uh, this uh, mission Chandrayaan 3 nobody will believe if I am telling you the truth if, if we are comparing the 25 billion US dollar that was in 60s even today when they are landing they are uh, launching their any spacecraft for moon mission it is not costing less than 45 to 50 billion us dollar whether it is america or it is france or china or and it's not geopolitical i'm not politician i'm here talking as a scientist india noticed that China is having lot of space activities and China is going to have lot of domination in space. So nowadays, who is powerful in space? Space technology. That's why I mentioned, again I am mentioning, today in this information age, artificial intelligence age, in this frequency age, space activities, if any country which is not existing in space is not existing will not be existing they will be subjected to slavery space slavery that whatever uh, satellite you want to launch you have to approach to uh, these th three four countries either america britain france india china to launch their satellite and in space thousands of satellites Sometimes they are not working, they are not functional, they are moving. Just like a steroid, meteoroid, particles in space. So nowadays, a lot of uh, satellites are learned and uh, very recently, uh, Elon Musk, he is very much interested to launch thousands of uh, satellites in the space to have his own supremacy in all the uh, data information and everything. So lot of space competition is going on. Who is having, I mean, supremacy or who is the superpower of space? 
So in that competition, India is forced to enter in this space mission. But India cannot compete in terms of US dollar. India cannot uh, afford 40, 50 billion, where 50, 50 chance is there, and that is a space mission. Once it just fraction of second difference is there in only entering into lunar uh, orbit, it can be crashed. They may lose the uh, we catch a signal from there. It may be lost in the space, and there is uh, nothing in finite in the space, or is infinite. So within fraction of second. India can lose 40 billion US dollars, so India cannot afford. So India, to cover this financial risk, it has adopted this 45 days timing, slowly uh, by moving one by one orbit, in elliptical uh, uh, orbit like this type, you know, like this, not like this, spherical. Eclipsing means from this, then slowly this, like this, like this, and then uh, reaching there. Elliptical uh, orbiting, and with this elliptical orbiting, the cost of this project, Chandrayaan 3 space project, is costing, if I calculate in the US dollar, it is just 70 million dollars. Unbelievable. What others they are sending their spacecraft is costing 50 billion dollars. India's spacecraft is costing how much? If I calculate in US dollar, it is 70 million. And where it is 50 billion, there is no comparison in cost. That's why in India, again I am mentioning it is about the spacecraft, even for medical treatment, medical complicated surgeries like open heart surgery. I am just giving the example, the cost effective of India. That's why in India is on top. The reason is that cost effective. Americans, Europeans, they are coming to India for their complicated surgery because they cannot afford in terms of your dollar or in terms of sterling pound, that is British currency. This simple example I am giving you. Open heart surgery, if you are looking for that in, in America, it is costing 80 to 90,000 US dollars. 80 to 90,000 US dollars. The same surgery is done in India and that is in 4,000 US dollars. That is 80,000, here it is 4,000 and quality is the same. There is nothing to compromise the quality of surgery. So, I mean, there is no comparison. That's why most of the people from Asian and African countries, whenever there is real emergency and where they cannot afford, everybody cannot afford 80, 90,000 US dollars, even in Nigeria, the richest men, they can afford to go to America and London and with stress and strain of spending up to 100,000 US dollar. Where if they are going to India, they are spending up to 5,000 US dollar. So the, uh, I can say poor American and Europeans, they are rushing to India for all the complicated surgery and medication. That's why India has become the uh, medical tourist country. Medical tourism is there. And in Nigeria also, 90% Nigerians, once they can afford, because Nigerian currency we know today, for one US dollar is equal to 860 Naira. It's a big question mark that where the, uh, the exchange rate is going to stop. And that is uh, very much, uh, we can say, uh, disturbing that there should be some uniform or some stable exchange rate because it is uh, not good for any country. The indicator of prosperity 
quality of life and happy population means first thing that their currency rate is uniform education sector health sector masses can afford food masses can afford is not that once you have thousands of metric ton of uh, rice and wheat is in stores and you are boasting that you have millions of tons food grain at the same time 80% population cannot afford to buy for one mudu they have to spend 3000 naira one mudu will sell roughly 2.5 kg for 2.5 kg if some family is having four five children school going children is is a common uh, family status in nigeria four to five children they cannot afford to eat rice eating rice is luxury now that's why our honorable president declared food emergency we have to shift towards uh, agriculture revolution green revolution white revolution i mean all the protein red pink evolution so that is the main thing where india uh, could go so that is main uh, reason and that is what i have already told you that the uh, chandrayaan will be reaching successfully if everything goes normal orbiting and entering into moon gravitational force and some more chemistry let me tell you of the moon what is happening for our earth in this area there is lot of atmosphere once i say atmosphere means it is with lot of gases ions radicals some particles so many things are there and when any type of cosmic rays is trying to pass through this atmosphere this uh, ions gases radiations they are attacking and all those small pieces they are crushed and they are destroyed but in the case of moon there is nothing like atmosphere there is no atmosphere so that's why lot of meteorite lot of asteroids and they are hitting the moon surface and there are big big holes and those holes i call it that is uh, reverse rain because when they are hitting all the uh, moon soil particles are jumping inside the space and again they are going up rather than coming down and since there is no uh, atmosphere that's why there is no check and balance for our big big pieces of meteorite and asteroids hitting the moon that's why on moon spots if you look uh, from closer perspective it is having big big holes and in southern part of that is i mean the north pole south pole of uh, moon it is cold and they are expecting lot of ice frozen in those big big holes uh, which is done by heating up the meteorite and asteroid and also actually our mission objective aim of this chandrayaan 3 uh, space craft is three first to enter in the uh, kalava super power in space still only three countries are there uh, which is having full command of going to moon and coming back freely first america second britain third china and fourth will be india so indians they want to demonstrate that they can also land on moon and land on moon if i say not hard landing soft landing still india is struggling to have soft landing we are not sure what is going to happen on 23rd of august there will be news what happened whether a rover has landed softly or not second to do the space research space research means on the moon uh, to check what type of elements are there minerals are there type of other material any uh, uh, we can say uh, the 
सब एटॉमिक पार्टिकल्स और सम रियल एलिमेंट्स आर देयर आर नॉट एंड द थर्ड वन फ्रॉम देयर टू गो इन टू दैट इज इंटर प्लेनेटरी स्पेस टू सर्च फॉर अदर प्लेनेट्स अपार्ट फ्रॉम द सोलर सिस्टम दैट इज द थ्री ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ आवर चंद्रयान मिशन so here with this our stop and uh, why i came here to clarify a lot of confusion of uh, 45 days timing and how the lunar is going to land and wh- what was the type of failure so all this in a very simple language i have given the explanation i have given that what is the meaning of chandrayaan so once again thank you very much for watching the uh, lecture